Hey everybody, it's Lindsay and I'm here today to share with you a vellum card featuring the spotlight stamping technique. Now I am also over on the Split Coast Stampers blog today. I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to go check that out. That is my original spotlight stamping technique tutorial. So you can go over there and check out that video on their YouTube channel and on their blog as well. Today though, I'm going to be creating this vellum card and the first thing I need to do is cut a lot of white circles for this card. So I've got a circle die, it's just a regular circled nesting die and this one measures just shy of four inches and I can cut two pieces of cardstock at once with this so I'm just going to go ahead and put two pieces of plain white cardstock in my die cutting machine and run those through. Now, now I am running two pieces through each time but you do want to go ahead and test your machine and just to make sure your machine can handle that you don't want to break it so I'm going to go ahead and run these last two through and now I'll end up with four circles and that's all I need for the card today so I'm going to go ahead and take one of those circles and I'm putting it into my Misty and I'm pulling out this Avriel Very Good stamp set I'm going to be using the peach image today so I'll just line that up on my cardstock and I want one kind of off center to the left or to the right excuse me so I'm just going to stamp this one first I went ahead and put that down and picked it up with the lid of my misty and then I'll ink it up with some memento tuxedo black ink I'll be using alcohol markers today if you want to use a different coloring medium just make sure that your ink coordinates with whatever medium you're using so I didn't get as nice of an impression as I would have liked the first time so the great thing about the Misty, I can just flip open the lid, re-ink it, and stamp it right back down in the same exact position. Now I'm just going to continue to move this stamp and stamp out this and cover the entire white piece of cardstock with this stamp. I just want to make sure that each time I stamp, I do clean it in between each one, just so you don't get any transfer ink. Now this is the last one I'll be doing and as you can tell the rest of my images hang off of the white piece of or the white circle and you really want that. You want images that hang off the edge, quite a few of them. So there you can see my white circle ready to go. So now comes the actual technique part of this. I'm bringing in a vellum card base that I made myself. It's just a piece of vellum cardstock that was eight and a half by eleven inches. I cut it in half at four and a quarter and then I scored it at five and a half inches just to make an A2 card base. I'm going to go ahead and bring in that white circle that I stamped before and I want to make sure that peach that is right in the center is orientated the way I want it because this is going to hold my sentiment in the end. Once I have it exactly where I want it on that card base, I'm going to use my magnets to hold it in place and then I will line that peach stamp up over one of the peach images that I've stamped in black that hangs off the edge. I'm going to go ahead and prep my surface with an embossing bag just to cut down on stray powders and then I will ink this stamp up with Versamark ink. Now I'll be using white embossing powder today. You can use whatever color you would like. Just make sure that your stamp is nice and clean before you go and do this, just so you don't transfer any black ink with your stamping. So I'll go ahead and stamp that down exactly where I want it. And when you do this, make sure that you have your card panel and your white piece exactly where you want it, because once you make this first stamp, you can't go back from it. Um, so you're kind of locked in with once you stamp your you're done and that's where your white panel will be and it will end up on your card. So just make sure that you're positive about the positioning of it. So I went ahead and heat set that embossing powder with my heat gun and now I'm going to bring this right back into my Misty and then I can use that stamp that I've already made to line up this white panel again. So I'll just use that and line that up with the peach that I've already stamped and there it looks like I have a two-tone stamped image and my one that is stamped in black on the white cardstock is finished then on my vellum card panel and it's embossed in white. So it just looks like one whole image that's two different tones. So I will so I'll show you how to do this one more time. I've went ahead and put my vellum pan or my vellum 
card base right back in there and I've lined up my white circle with my stamp that I've already done with the white embossing powder. Now I can go ahead and pick another stamp that's overhanging off the circle panel and I've just lined my peach stamp up by looking straight through it and then picking it up with my misty lid. Now whenever I remove that uh, white circle then I want to make sure that I don't move that vellum card base at all just because it will throw off your entire uh, technique here. So I'm using my magnets to hold that in place. I use my embossing bag just to get rid of any static that will hang on to loose embossing powder. And then I've inked this stamp up with some Versamark ink and I will stamp that right down onto that vellum card base. Now one thing to remember about this vellum with your clear stamps, it wants to stick pretty bad. So whenever you pull up your stamps, just make sure you take it nice and easy so you don't get any smearing. I'll go ahead and cover that with the white embossing powder and then I will use my heat gun to heat set that. Now one thing about your vellum with your heat tool, you want to make sure your heat tool is really nice and hot. Let it warm up for 30-45 seconds before you bring it to your vellum just to cut down on warping. With this technique, you can't stamp them all at one time and cover with embossing powder. It, would, it takes too much time and it would dry in between. So you really do have to do these one at a time. So just make sure it's nice and hot before you bring it just to cut down on the warping. Now once I have filled in all of my images that overhang off that white circle, I can come in with that stamp on an acrylic block now and stamp in just any remaining open spaces just to fill this in with that peach stamp. Now this time I can stamp these all at once and then sprinkle on my white embossing powder and heat set this all at once. And that really helps cut down on the warping as well. But with your others, you really just need to go ahead and make sure your heat tool is nice and hot before you bring it over to your paper. So I've sprinkled on my white embossing powder and covered up all those images that I stamped. And then I will bring in my heat tool and heat set these all at once also. And if you see your paper start to warp at all, just pull your heat gun away, let it cool for a minute, and then you can come back in and finish heat embossing that image. And there you can see my white panel lines up perfectly with all my stamped images. So to make these images pop even more, with two color tones. I'm going to be using some alcohol markers just to color in these peach images on my white circles. Now you don't have to use alcohol markers. You could use watercolors, colored pencils, whatever coloring medium you wanted to use. I just wanted to try out some alcohol markers and I'm using my Dick Blick Studio Brush Markers. If you want to see my review of those, I will link that up in the right hand corner. But I'm just using three colors on the peaches, three colors on the leaves and just coloring those in. Now once those were all colored and blended out as much as I like them, I'm going to go ahead and place the sentiment right in that first peach that I stamped. And this is a sentiment from the step and it reads your peach. So this is a thank you card. I always need thank you cards it seems like. So I just line that up with that peach, picked it up with my misty lid, and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp it down a few times in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I didn't want to risk a dye ink right here, so I chose to use my Memento Tuxedo Black to cut down on bleeding. Um, so I just needed to stamp it a couple times to get the really black intensity that I like. So once I had that all stamped out, I could start putting this card together. For that front peach panel there, I went ahead and put some double-sided adhesive on a piece of fun foam. And then I can line this up and put it on the front portion of my card, making sure that all of those stamps that I've stamped out line up perfectly. And again, it's just going to look like one complete stamped image that's two different tones. It's a really neat technique. So I'll just go ahead and give that a good press down. And then I've got my three other circles that I've brought back in now. These already have double-sided adhesive on them and I'm just going to go ahead and peel off the backing paper. And this one is going to need to go on the inside behind that front panel circle just to cover up that fun foam and adhesive. So I'll go ahead and I can see right through this vellum so I can line it up and press that down and make sure it's nice and secure and in place. And that just hides the adhesive on the inside of the card. So now I need a place to write my message. So I'm taking another circle. I'm putting this right next or right on top of that circle on the inside panel. And then I can bring back the uh, 
back of the card base and press down and that picks it up and it makes sure that all of these circles are nice and lined up. Now this fourth circle will be right on the back so you can stamp your name, you know, your made by stamp or whatever. And there, that covers also the adhesive. So you can't see any adhesive on this vellum card. It's all nice and colored, covered, and also you have places to write your messages and also stamp your Made by You stamp. Now to finish this card off, I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle. So I am coating those peaches liberally with some Wink Estella clear glitter brush pen. And there you can kind of see the sparkle it gives, but I mean, I really coated those things. So there is a lot of sparkle on this. And then I also wanted to add just a few moonshine sequins. These are from Simon Says Stamp. And I used the medium and the very smallest size sequins. Those are my favorites. And I am just gluing those down with glossy accents and using my quick sticks tool to help me out. And that finished off the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the vellum card with the spotlight stamping technique. And make sure you go over to the Split Coast Stampers website and check out the video and tutorial over there as well. As always, I will leave you guys with just a close-up of this card and a few pictures. For more information and the supply list, you can head to my blog, craftingwellcaffeinated.wordpress.com. The link is in the description box below, as well as that I in the top right hand corner. That will get you there too. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy crafting.